Hi there, this is Abhishek and in this video I will talk about how you can specify some of the custom layouts within your Shiny dashboard. So in the previous videos you have seen that uh, we have created the info boxes, the value boxes, the different types of boxes in the body so that you can get your uh, relevant information displayed and uh, as a KPI or as a detailed analysis. And here in this video, uh, we will not look at any of those aspect about uh, uh, how you can create those things, but an overall layout, let's say the strategy for how you want to display the uh, these uh, info boxes. Uh, so right now, so far we have shown it in a fluid row, but we have other options like specifying in a column so that they are shrinked and not displayed like this uh, in the uh, proper fluid row, which is adjustable based on how many info boxes or the value boxes that you are specifying. Well, it has both advantages and disadvantages. The advantage of uh, row is that uh, you don't really need to be worried about, uh, you know, how many uh, or how it is getting displayed because it gets shrink based as soon as you add a new one. And uh, the disadvantage is that it occupies a lot of unnecessary space. So how we can, you know, get this behavior corrected a little bit. So let me go to the R and here are the info boxes that we are displaying. So what we can do is we can add a column to it. So column and specifying the width. So let's say, let's start with three comma and I will just put the parenthesis there in the end and save it. Once I save it and go to our application, press F5, you can see now it is being shrinked and having a width of three. And that's why you are not able to see the information. Let's expand the width a little bit by making it, let's say seven here in this case, save, refresh it again. And now you are able to see the uh, your boxes which are being shrinked. So basically the idea is that in just one screen if you have the requirement where you want to show the number of boxes to be uh, shrinked or in a particular width and want to have a limit on that so that your application is looking as per the standard you can specify the columns column over here and make either info boxes or value boxes or any tab box or normal box uh, specified within that. So with that, you will get the uh, good looking dashboard and you will be able to add multiple number of components if that is what is the required. As well as this is useful uh, in one of those scenarios where we have created the repository, where we have created the multiple boxes and KPIs and it's basically directing the users to the multiple reports. So Maybe another thing or another way you want to look at this about how you can use the columns uh, in a shiny dashboard. So that's pretty much all about it, about how you can use fluid row, which we have already been using since starting and addition of columns and keep maybe just the columns or mix and match. If you want to use, you are more than free and uh, to explore this based on the layout and the design that you have. So that's all I wanted to discuss in this video uh, and I will meet you in the new video a new topic.